I'm Miss Karen. And this is Caroline with Children's Liturgy for the fourth Sunday in Lent. So in the first reading today, we hear from the second book of Chronicles in the Old Testament. And the books of Chronicles tell us the history of God's people by telling us about their kings. And second Chronicles starts with awesome King Solomon and then tells us how things tank wicked quick after that. And the people of God get booted out of their land and conquered and have to, are in exile for 70 years. And the book of Chronicles ends actually where our reading is when they get to come back from exile. And the person writing Chronicles knows that God's people have to know their history. Their history tells them that they have to choose God and to love God with all their hearts and minds and soul. And the history also consistently tells them about how God loves them absolutely, totally, and unconditionally. And God is always calling them back. In the second reading today, we hear from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians in the New Testament. And Paul, as we've heard a lot from him lately, um, is writing letters to people in different places, telling them how to be Christians. And Paul does most of his best writing from jail, jail because that's where Paul spent a lot of time because he was a Christian. And Paul is answering some questions that people might have about salvation and about God. Um, and those questions are things like, can we earn salvation? And can we deserve God's love? And Paul's answer is a great big old, that's a negative ghost writer. The pattern is full. These things are only things that God gives to us by his grace. So in this week's gospel, we hear some of the most famous words in the entire Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but have eternal life. This is all of Jesus' story wrapped into one sentence. Jesus has come to save us from our sins and bring us eternal life in him. That's why God sent him. God loves us so much that he sent his son to die for us on a cross, which is one of the most painful ways to go. Jesus loves us so much that he was willing to do it to save us from ourselves. That's what he's all about. God loves us so much that he did all of that just for us. The least we can do is love him back. So your assignment this week is to find out ways to love God in your everyday life. Little things, being nice to your siblings, just extending <laughs> God's love to everybody. Yes, even your siblings. Even your siblings. So I'm Miss Karen. And this is Caroline. With Children's Liturgy. Have a good week. Bye.